All right. Quote a question on the purple exam. Suppose that Ireland imports mobile phones from China. Demand, supply, um, you get the drill, hopefully, by now. So let's draw a graph. Make sure you get price and quantity on there. Make sure you label your axes correctly. Our demand curve slopes down. Our supply curve slopes up. So where does the demand curve start? Well, when the price is 80, we don't buy any. When the price is zero, we buy 160. Supply curve starts at 10. So that's part of it's the same as, as in the other exam, except now we start off with a free trade price of 16. When we add on a tariff of eight, the price in our country falls to 12. So the terms of trade price would go down to 12, and that is going to drive the price in our country up the tariff of eight plus the 12, uh, original price of 12. So we've got under free trade, we consume, I'm sorry, we produce 24. Under the tariff, we produce 40. Under free trade, we consume 128, and we produce 100, or I'm sorry, under the tariff, we consume 120. So area A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. So free trade, consumer surplus is A, B, C, D, E, everything above the price consumers get below the demand curve. So base of 128 times a height of 80 minus 16 uh, divided by two gives you a grand total of 4096. Producer surplus is area F, one half of a base of 24 times a height of 10 to 16, six. So that's a grand total of 72. Total surplus is those two added together which turns out to be 41.68. So then we add on the tariff, the price in our country goes up to 20, that drives consumer surplus down. Consumer surplus falls to area A, which is 3,600. Price in our country goes up to 20, that's gonna increase producer surplus to areas B and F, which is 200. The government collects that eight euro tariff on the 80 units that gets imported. That comes in as tariff revenue, areas D and G, which is 640. And then total surplus is those added together, A, B, D, F, and G, for a grand total of 4440. Where did C and E go? Those are dead weight loss. One half of a base of 40 minus 24 times a height of 4 plus a base of 8 times a height of 4 divided by 2 for a grand total of 48. That's dead weight loss. So the last bit of the puzzle is part C. Suppose that there's a border inspection cost. How big could that be for this tariff to still make sense? You know, all right. So under the free trade, we get a total surplus of 41.68. Under the tariff, we get 4440. So that cost cannot be any bigger than the gap between those 4440 minus 4168. So the cost can't be any more than 272 because that would wipe out any of the gains from using the tariff. Again, if you want to see details on where all the numbers came from, go look at Blackboard, look at the answer key there.